This video demonstrates the synergy created by combining the power of Microsoft Power Automate with Open Legacy to connect to legacy systems. In Microsoft Power Automate, we previously built a flow to automate the creation of a bank account for a customer. The flow receives the customer name, identification number, and email address populated from Microsoft Forms and uses an open legacy driven API to call a COBOL transaction on the mainframe that opens the new account in the open legacy demo bank. When successful, the flow notifies the customer that their account has been created and provides the unique account number or IBAN of the created account. So how do we do it? We first install the Open Legacy image on a Microsoft Azure container instance. This is a one-time setup that we will use later. Locally, we use the Open Legacy CLI to define an API for a mainframe program that opens a new account in the Open Legacy demo bank. We use the following commands in the CLI to connect to the Open Account 31 COBOL file in the legacy system, parse it, create an API from it, and add it to a dedicated module. We can test it quickly from the CLI using a sample JSON and see the invocation of the COBOL transaction on the mainframe. At this point, we have already provisioned and generated a new working API for our mainframe program without writing a single line of code. After testing that everything is working correctly, we push the module to the Open Legacy instance we deployed earlier. And we're done. The Open Legacy API for creating new accounts is live and ready to be used. We can now add the appropriate steps to the Power Automate flow that sends the HTTP call to the Open Legacy container. And when we run the flow again with different parameters, we see that the generated IBAN is completely unique. If you want to learn more, please go to openlegacy.com. Thank you for your attention.